And so when I moved to California, I, I, I went with the intent of, okay, um, I, I, I think I want to pursue graphic design. Mm-hmm. Because that's sort of businessy, artsy, creative, but I know that I can probably make a living off of that. Yes. And yes. Mm-hmm. And so moved to moved to California and um when I got there, just took any old job, just tempt, and I went to the Art Center College of Design at night. Where is this? And just took a in Pasadena. in Pasadena, it's a it's a pretty um, which is you know I, I live in the Pasadena area now, and um, so Art Center College of Design, pretty well known school for the arts, and um, I just took some kind of arts basic course. I don't even remember <laughs> what it was called, but I loved it. I loved the teacher. Um, I loved the different projects that we were working on. I got to, you know, just be around a whole bunch of really, I just remember the students there very being very warm. So that helps. Yeah. And I just thought, oh, yay, I'm, uh, I'm feeling good, you know, feeling good about this. And so did the class. And then um, I, I knew I wanted to pursue some kind of graphic design degree or certification so I remember looking into um, the art center and uh, way expensive Uh Um, yes way expensive so I'm like okay well let me see what my other options are Mm -hmm. so looked around and found a another college and it was really geared towards people who work Um, so I would you know have to go to school at night and um, and that school is called Platt college it's funny because a lot of people thought i said pratt but Mm -hmm. no it's platt and um so they had a graphic design program there and i um worked you know eight to five school was six to ten monday through friday monday through friday and then every five i think it was every five weeks the class would change and you know you moved on to a new a new um, class. And so it was just I one was... class you were taking. Yeah, it okay. was. It was like, yeah, that's kind of how the program was. You would take one class, do it for five weeks, then move into you know the next module, and yeah, and it was um, can't even. I don't even remember if there was a break or not. But um, so that went on for I don't know like 16 months 18 months maybe Mm -hmm. and uh, you know but but I I really enjoyed it and I just felt like okay Mm. you know this is I I know I'm gonna end up with a you know a certificate in graphic design didn't need to be an AA or some kind of you know other kind of degree I just wanted the the experience and the um you know, just the practice and all that stuff. Very so, good. Did that. So you got your graphic design certificate, and do you get yes. a, do you get a job in graphic design almost right away? Oh no, no. So <laughs> another story. Um, so at that, after I graduated, I was you know looking for work and um, still temping. You know, while mm-hmm. I was looking. And it was tough. It was, it it took me a while to, um, to even get temp work in graphic design. And it took, it, it, I can't remember exactly how long, but it felt like an eternity. Of course. And I just Hmm. remember feeling, you know, very, um, down on myself and very, um, you know, oh my God. Do I not have talent? Is this, you know, am I not good enough? Am I not, uh, you know, is this a waste of money? Like I had all those doubts, all those thoughts, all those doubts. And, um, you know, and my mom really came through and just was my cheerleader and pepped me up and kept, you know, talking to me and just said, keep with it, stick with it, keep trying, don't give up, Um, you know, keep going and 
and and I am a, a person who will persevere, who will persist. And I kept trying, kept interviewing, and then um, eventually, through a you know one of my classmates, he helped me get set up with a creative temp agency. And so that kind of started my graphic design career, if you will. And I um, did just different temp jobs as a graphic designer or a production artist um, and just working for different companies. And then eventually I did land a job um, as an in-house, um, started out as a production artist and then got promoted to graphic designer mm -hmm. and, um, and, and it was for a, um, um, a coffee and tea company and, and that was a lot of fun mm -hmm. and that was, uh, 2000. So, oh, wow. um, 2000 to, I think I left in 2007. So mm. yeah, did that for several for several years as a graphic designer. So you're working for the graphic design company and then the paint and is calling, the painting is yes, calling. Yes, <laughs> yes, the painting is calling. Hmm. So I'm working in-house as a graphic designer um, for this company, for this coffee and tea company. And um, I started to also get back into you know, more spiritual things, more spirituality. Mm -hmm. And I went to this beautiful church called Agape um, in um, Los Angeles in Culver City. That's where it was at the time. And I noticed all these beautiful paintings in the church mm -hmm. and um, just loved them and found out who was the artist behind these paintings and mm -hmm. um, his name is Rizzoli and I started taking painting classes um, what did Rizzoli, what did Rizzoli paint what kind of style oh uh, I would if I had to call it and I don't know all the styles mm -hmm. but it was just spirit just abstract beautiful you know mm -hmm. spiritual paintings and uh, I noticed in a lot of his paintings he had um, what appeared to me as the female form female uh, beings that are kind of popping up in his paintings just very um, colorful and um, yes very mesmerizing and so loved his work started taking his classes and going to his retreats with with friends oh, retreats, and right. yes art retreats i mm. went to so many art mm. retreats um all around california mm. beautiful community um and what i really appreciated about him was just you know he really was about just be you be free mm. don't you know, um, censor yourself mm. so much and just be free. And yes. really the painting with him was just very emotional and very, you know, paint what you're feeling mm. and, um, and don't get attached to <laughs> it. And so something he would often do is, so we're painting, we're all in the flow, we're listening to music and having a good time. And then he'd say, okay, pick up your canvas and you need to change it with uh, the person on your right. What? So whatever you're, whatever wow. you're painting, say goodbye. Say goodbye to that painting. And um, so, you know, so we did that and it really, um, it did a lot for me. Yeah. Um, and for me, whenever I paint something, I'm, I am cool with, with letting it go. I'm cool uh. with selling it making some money from it or whatever, yeah. giving it as a gift. And, you know, um, so that really helped with non-attachment. And um, what did he so, use? Was he uh, acrylics? Oil? Acrylics. He was an acrylic yeah, oil. acrylics. Yes, acrylics. And, um, and, and 
thinking and looking back, I, I, that was new for me. Mm. I never painted with acrylics. Um, you know, that was something new. So I uh, really enjoyed working with him, painting with him and going to his retreats. And then I also came in contact with, um, through, you know, with my little group of friends who are artists in the Pasadena area. Mm -hmm. Um, we took classes from a couple other watercolor, uh, other artists, watercolorists, mm -hmm. um, Joseph Stoddard, Tom Fong, and um, really enjoyed um, painting with them as well. Um, their style of watercolor was very loose and kind of carefree and um, just very expressive. So between those three artists, Rizzoli, Joseph, and Tom, I just, I was like, yes, I'm getting mm. back into the, to my groove of painting and um, had art shows, started to have some art shows with my different artist friends and um, also did some traveling um, with one of my dear friends, Ellen, and um, artist friend and on our trips we would take notebooks and bring our little traveling uh, watercolor paint set and mm. I started doing art journals so that was something kind of new mm. for me and fun and um, just made time to paint um, throughout our travels and so would did, you paint um, and write stuff too would be yes like a mm -hmm. okay yeah, mm. I painted and, and wrote, kind of wrote what wrote whatever was going on around mm -hmm. me, um, and you know, kind of making up stories about the people um, on the beach. So mm. it was just a lot of fun and something that I just really enjoyed. Um, so yes, that was you know, I'm going to say the early 2000s mm -hmm. um, is when I really got back into into painting and um, actually exhibiting and. Um, you know, just feeling really good about my artist self mm -hmm. and thinking I show I showed you a lady from Boston <laughs> art teacher. I've made I, I've made some sales. Mm -hmm. I can sell my art and you know, there are people who like it. Um were you, were and, you painting kind of the same yeah. stuff you did as a kid, animals, or was it something completely different now? Oh, completely different. Mm -hmm. Completely different. Um, the the paintings with Rizzoli, 100%, just what I call pure emotion. So mm -hmm. there is nothing... I'm not going to the canvas with a specific mm -hmm. thought of, I'm going to paint a sunrise or a sunset mm -hmm. or a ocean or a mountain or a whatever... Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like, what's calling to me? Mm -hmm. How am I feeling? What colors do I feel attracted to right now? And and just putting it on, you know, putting it on the canvas. Um, and um, with the watercolor um, work, that was, I mean, that was a little bit more realistic, mm -hmm. but I definitely would not call myself a any kind of realism type of painter. Um, you know, in those, in the classes we would paint, you know, b like buildings, um, a little bit of landscape, um, but it was still very expressive. So it was kind of cool to have those different, uh, teachers mm -hmm. and a little bit of a different, um, method, um, with the painting. And I just remember, I just remember those years just feeling so good feeling so good and um you're painting at home too um painting at home yep mm -hmm. painting at home um you know and and the, the art retreats were something that that i did for several years and yeah. it was just so wonderful to be in that community definitely yeah mm -hmm. now when you paint you have a you approach each painting almost the same way do you have to have music or just whatever is it different for watercolors and acrylics whatever you want to paint something or um i like i like to have music mm -hmm. uh for me that just kind of helps me get in you know get get pumped up mm 
And um, for me, I like I like it when the house is cool.